Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, what I want to cover is how to create a subscribe button in Photoshop. All right, so we're gonna jump into our Photoshop application. Um, if we see over here, I have a blank canvas, canvas set up. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over uh, to this, um, to the shape tool over here. Then I'm gonna go to the rounded rectangle tool. Make sure you're on that. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a rect rectangle out in that manner. And that's the first stage right there. I'm just gonna center this item over here. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the, um, you know, the white square um, bo uh, box that goes inside of here. I'm gonna create, uh, make sure I have that again. I'm just going to create the box in that manner. Okay, so now it's the same color. So I'm gonna go over here on the right hand side in the property section. I'm gonna click on the color and I'm gonna uh, make sure it goes to white. Click on the move tool. And I'm gonna just make sure that that's, you know, try to get that centered. And if you need to increase the screen resolution, um, screen size so you can actually see better and you can just press shape and um, uh, to get the hand tool and then you can just move it around as such so you can get a better view. You can always put on the grids and the rulers and stuff like that um, but I'm just trying to make a very quick example over here to show you the basic steps. All right so now we're going to put in the um, we can either put in the triangle now or we can put in uh, the subscribe letters. So I'm going to go forward with the, the lettering right here. All right so I'm just going to type in there I'm going to go to character, I'm going to click on white, I mean click on the color option there and put FFF for white. So now it's blinking inside there signifying it's ready to be typed out. And then on the upper top you see it's white and over here it's white. Alright so you can choose your font and you can choose the uh, font size. I'm just going with uh, Calibri and a font size of 90 pixels just for demonstrations. So subscribe. I'm just going to move that over. We're going to play around with the size here for a second just to see you know how you know we can make it look as sharp as possible. Let's try 150 see what happens. And we're going to adjust the location. All right so that looks that looks okay. That looks fine. Try to get it even. All right, so now we have the outer box, um, and then we have the inner box, and we have the subscribe. And now let's do the triangle. So um, you would go here to the shape tool, and you're going to notice that there is no option for a triangle, which is interesting. Um, but you can easily make one. So what I'm going to do over here is just click on the uh, rectangle tool, and I'm going to uh, hold down shift. And make a perfect square all right so now we have that all right so what we could do now is we're going to um, go to our pen tool over here on the left hand side gonna click on it and make sure that we all have the delete anchor point tool selected all right so once you have that selected you're gonna go over here to the corner and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna get this option come up this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path. Uh, click on continue. And now you have that set up in that manner. And what we're going to do now is while well, we're going to go over, click on edit, go to free transform, or you could just press control T or command T. And then you're going to see that if you hover over the corner anchor points, you can start to rotate the triangle. I'm going to hold down the shift key so I get it perfectly aligned. And now you see that you have it, you know, facing in the proper direction. Um, so what I'm going to do now is press enter. And then what we need to do is obviously remove this. We see, you know, it looks all right, but it's not the right form. Um, it should be a little bit, um, you know, not, not in this manner over here. So let's fix that over here. And the way we're going to fix that is we're going to go up to edit again into the free transform. And then we are going to start, you know, making it, we're going to start shaping our triangle, you know, to make it take the proper form that we want. 
Okay, so when you're done, click on enter, and then you can just move it into right into the right direction, into the right position inside the box. And as always, if you need, you could always make it larger so you can get a better look at it, make sure it's centered, and then zoom out so you can get a better look at the actual bun itself. All right, so that looks okay. It's, you know, it's, um, it's pretty close to what the subscribe button will look like. You can make this better by, you know, increasing the font size. So we can go back to subscribe over here and then go back to character. And then we can play around with this a little bit. Make that a little bit bigger just to see how it will look. All right, so maybe that's as much as you would want to go. You know, you don't want to have it too large. Um, you may want to change... Um, Play around with this a little bit. There we go. Get a little bit nicer. Um, so that's pretty much how you make the, you know, a standard subscribe um, button there. I'm going to want to probably make that triangle a little bit bigger. So at this time, I'm just going to press Control T um, to quickly get to the free transform tool. And then I'm going to just expand it a little bit. Let me see, maybe make it a little bit longer and then press enter, and then let's move it into position. Let's zoom in, it's a little bit too much, and that looks pretty decent. Um, you know, it's a basic subscribe button that you can take, and if you wanted, you could use it, you know, on your website, on your blog, you know, graphic media. You know, it's something that's, you know, pretty basic. You could always get, you know, um, the images uh, from other places as well, but I just wanted to show you a demonstration and how to create your own subscribe button. Now, what else can we do with this? We could always, um, you know, play around with the box itself. Just click on the uh, rounded rectangle, the first one that we created. And then click on the blending options. And then you can play around with the way it looks here. So let's say you wanted to give it a drop shadow. You can do so there. Um, you know, you can give it a drop shadow if you wanted you know, to give it some type of effect on the outside. And let's reduce the screen size a little bit so you can see that. Let's move this around over here. All right, so you can do that if you wanted. So let's just um, increase that size just for dramatic effect if you see that taking place. Uh, you can also put an outer glow if you wanted. You can do, um, if you wanted to put some satin look and feel in there, you could do that. There's a bunch of different things you can play around with to make it uh, the type of button that you specifically want. You know, you just play around with some of the effects. You know, if you want to give it, you know, that um, bevel type effect there, you can do that. You know, you, there's a lot of things you could do in order to customize your subscribe button. Um, so this is basically simple tutorial on how to create a subscribe button uh, with some enhancements if you want it. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because throughout uh, this channel, you're going to find you know, some tutorials on some graphic design, some web development, some topics of um, including WordPress, SEO, social media marketing, and things of that nature. So hopefully you find something here you know, that enhances your skill set and takes you to the next level. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.